What's up guys and welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for Cobra Kai Season 4. So this is going to be a little bit of an abbreviated review just because it is Season 4 of the show. It doesn't have quite as much information or new things as the first couple of seasons and the first season especially. But this season continues to escalate the tension and rivalry between Miyagi-Do Karate and Cobra Kai, but then also adds to the element of Eagle Fang Karate led by Johnny Lawrence. So overall the stuff between Cobra or between Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai was okay, but of particular note was the continuing um, kind of tensions between Eagle Fang and Cobra Kai because they're essentially built on the same foundations. The best thing, comparison I came up with was Cobra Kai and Eagle Fang are kind of like different distributions of Linux where they're based on the same base of Cobra Kai, but Cobra Kai is kind of like Ubuntu, for example, but then Eagle Fang is like Kubuntu or Linux Mint or one of those kinds of other distributions. Not saying one or the other is any better or worse, just saying that that's kind of that comparison. So not only that, but then we also have the tensions between Eagle Fang and Co or Miyagi Do trying to team up. So I liked all of that, and then every it's kind of leading to the whole. Um, or the season basically raises that whole question about um, who does who does each of, each of the students want to be, and how can they incorporate what they're learning into their regular daily life to make them happy with what they want to, or make them happy with how they are. So, of particular note are um, Daniel Larusso's daughter and um, Hawk. So I think they had the best. Um, general progressions in the show just because Hawk ends up coming back to I, I think he ends up rejoining Eagle Fang or potentially Miyagi-Do but then Daniel LaRusso's daughter ends up merging uh, Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang into her fighting technique so all in all good stuff um, the runner up was uh, potentially the um, lady the girl from um, Cobra Kai who was having who has trouble with her family and her aunt and all of that and basically she's she lives her life the way she does because she doesn't have um a good role model and i liked how um daniel's wife stepped in but not to the point of like assuming that her way is the right way but lending a helping hand and saying that her exist that um, and the late girl's name is Tori, but how Tori's life doesn't necessarily have to be the same way. She can grow and evolve beyond it, and she do, and Daniel's wife doesn't you know minimize or try to overrule the life that Tori's had to live, but wants to help her grow beyond it. So. I'm really interested to see how they go into the next season, especially with the potential team up with the guy from, I want to say Karate Kid 3 at the end of Cobra Kai season 4. But overall, it's a good progression. It's another one of those scenes where it's like a stepping stone to, as a follow up from last season, where season 3 was kind of the culmination of season 2. And season two was kind of like the peak of what happened in season one. So overall, a good season and definitely worth watching. So if you're a fan of Cobra Kai or any of the Karate Kid films, then I definitely recommend giving it a watch. Um, the other thing that was a particular note that I liked was the introduction of um, John Kreese's old war buddy, um, who he saved from Vietnam. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name right now, but I liked how they continued to have that throwback to their time in Vietnam during the war. And basically, if you've seen Rambo, I want to say two or three, where they did introduce the John Kreese character for that film. He might have been under a different name, but... Um, I like how they continue to have that throwback to the point where I would kind of be interested to see if they end up having Sylvester Stallone show up to, um, like, whether it's just a simple cameo to give um, Cobra Kai, or sorry, Miyagi Do or Eagle Fang some sort of boost with how he defeated those guys, or ends up joining and merging um, Eagle Fang and Miyagi Do into a third, you know, a big um like overarching 
company to handle both and kind of merges the two teachings to show how what gave him peace that both ways are good but they have to have a merging to um team them up or meet them up in a good middle ground but um that, it would be nice to have a silver Stallone cameo just to kind of you know in, it doesn't necessarily have to be in season five but uh, I think season five would be good to hash out, you know, finally hash out the whole rivalry between Cobra Kai and then Eagle Fang and Miyagi Do. But if tensions continue to escalate, then they have to take things even further. And so in season six, have um, Sylvester Stallone uh, come in to stop Cobra Kai because he defeated them before or teach me uh, miyagi do and eagle thing how to merge their teachings so they have a good balance and counter to what cobra kai is teaching so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 you can support the show on um patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 but also subscription links and support options are on the website at headphonesneal.reviews so thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time